Peter, here in the HP 3D printing zone, should we call it here at Matsura, the open house is on today, tomorrow and the following day. Yes. A bit behind the scenes here, early doors. Um, I know Chris just focused on some of these parts here, but what will you be showing in the coming days? Well, we've got the 580 and we were lucky enough to have the first colour enabled one, so we've had a good chance to get some parts off that. So we've got some colour parts on display. We will also be printing with colour this week as well. Um, but on the flip side to that, what we're trying to show now is that full production end solution. So we've got some full build samples here now and we've got some of the automotive black from Dimension. So we can basically show you from colour right through to how you can use this technology for the real final end components. Going to take both of those elements, right? Yep. First one is this colour. The detail on this, Peter, I mean, it's just incredible, isn't it? Did you, you, you came up with the idea for parts like this? Yes, it was a, you know, it's a Kagayashi cube. But obviously, we just tried to really push the colour a little bit to show what we can do. And as you can see, we can get colour almost face to face because that's printed absolutely flat. So yes, it's just a bit of a show off, but it really shows you what we can do with the colour. And, and then even down to here, to these, to the, the detail on these, on these models, and uh, you know, it's just incredible, isn't it? Just... We've, we've been impressed. You know, we know HP have been working on the colour printer for a while, and we know there's a lot of competition in the market. But this just offers a, a different tact, really. It's colour that you can control right at the voxel level. Yeah. Um, if you want to know more detail about this, how you go about creating parts like this, how you, how you set the, the, the colour tones and all of those elements, then come here to Matsura to talk to Peter himself. Let's just have a look at then some of these more, what you'd align with production parts then, Peter. This is, this is a big area, isn't it? It is, and I think it's probably the area that we need to try and get the most exposure to now because um, the fact that you can print parts to this quality with leatherette finishes, automotive finish, that people just genuinely don't believe it's printed. And we're lucky with Dimension, we've got an automotive black now that gives us full UV degradability approval. And when you combine the two technologies, to be honest, the parts are just exceptional. So you need no, to see them. There's no tools anymore. These are just printed. Uh, leave the machine running overnight. However many you can fit in a build unit, it'll run in 10 or 12 hours and you'll deliver, what, maybe 60 or 70 of those in a, in a build? Quite easily, yeah. And, that, and that's what people don't realise now. Up to several thousand now, we've got a real alternative for production. Good stuff. OK, so that's it. The Matsura Open House. Come here and see Peter uh, and talk to him about uh, this additive manufacturing, which really is, um, I'm so impressed and, and, and blown away by some of, the, some of the products that you've been making. In fact, in a short while, we're going to have a look at one of the, the chess boards as well. But uh, yeah, the Open House runs. It uh, starts today. It's, uh, the doors are just open. It's on today, tomorrow and Thursday at their headquarters in Colville.